Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are resuming our full coverage of the latest incidents, the most important events taking place locally and internationally. In our news hour, we are going to start with President Abdel Fattah Sisi receiving on Saturday the President and CEO of the World Economic Forum, Borge Brande, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medbouli, Minister of Planning, Economic Development, and International Cooperation, Raniel Mashat, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Badr Abdel Ati, and Minister of Investment and Foreign. Uh, trade Hassan Khatib. Also on Saturday, the head of the state held another meeting with the Premier and the Investment Minister discussing a number of files to facilitate investment procedures, customs clearance time, localizing industry, and much more. Here are more details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Saturday President and CEO of the World Economic Forum, Borge Brande, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medbouli, Minister of Planning, Economic Development and International Cooperation Dr. Raniel Moshat, Minister of Foreign Affairs Badr Abdel Ati, and Minister of Investment and Foreign Trade Hassan Al Khatib. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Mohamed Shinawi said that during the meeting, President Sisi discussed the executive situation of projects in the field of infrastructure, industry and agriculture, as well as the mega investment opportunities provided by these projects. The President stressed the importance of joint cooperation and encouraging foreign private sector to invest in priority sectors, namely the sectors of industry, sustainable energy, communications, digital transformation, artificial intelligence and transportation. For his part, the President of the World Economic Forum praised the great steps taken by Egypt in the field of economic reform and attracting investments, noting that the Forum's interest in highlighting the successful Egyptian experience. The meeting also addressed regional developments where Brande was briefed on the President's vision concerning ways to achieve peace and stability in the Middle East region, the negative impacts affecting the continuation of the escalated Israeli aggression on Palestine and Lebanon. Meanwhile, President Sisi directed efforts to continue improving the investment climate and addressing structural challenges affecting the Egyptian economy. Meeting with Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and Minister of Investment Dr. Hassan Al Khatib, President Sisi emphasized reducing non tax procedural and financial burdens to enhance Egypt's position as a regional hub for attracting foreign direct investments. The President also called for opening new markets for the Egyptian exports, increasing the local content in all exports and positioning Egypt as a hub for global and regional supply chains. Presidential spokesperson al Shinawi said the meeting addressed key topics including the development of foreign trade system by streamlining procedures, reducing costs and minimizing customs clearance times. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Immigration and Egypt experts Badr Abdel Ati held a joint press conference with visiting the leaving counterpart Selinda Sousa. This came as the two top diplomats held talks earlier covering mutual relations and a number of issues of common interest details. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Immigration and Egypt expats Badr Abdel Ati on Saturday hailed mutual relations with Bolivia, expressing the will of both sides to improve them in various domains. Abdel Ati's comments came at a joint press conference with Selinda Sousa, held after they concluded their talks in Cairo. Abdel Ati said his talks with Sousa covered ways to boost bilateral relations, taking them to new horizons as Egypt and Bolivia celebrate 64 years of diplomatic ties, seizing the opportunity to congratulate Bolivia on 200 years of independence. Abdel Ati pointed to the will of both sides to form a joint economic committee to follow up the implementation of agreed deals. For her part, Sousa conveyed the Bolivian president's greetings to President Sisi, stressing her country's full appreciation to the distinguished ties that bind the two nations. Minister of Foreign Affairs Abdel Ati also congratulated the Bolivian counterpart for her visit to Egypt. She stated that her agenda of talks with the, the Egyptian top diplomat uh, discussed enhancing cooperation in the fields of trade, economy, culture and tourism. The Bolivian minister pointed to her people's passion toward the old Egyptian civilization and their eagerness to visit Egypt. Abdel Ati said Egypt welcomes the Bolivians as dear guests all over the year. 
Minister of Planning, Economic Development and International Cooperation Dr. Rania Al-Mashat met Saturday with World Economic Forum President Borge Brande within the framework of his official visit to Egypt to discuss future fields of cooperation between Egypt and the WEF and build a strategic partnership with the WEF that was launched in 2020 in several developmental and economic domains details. Minister of Planning, Economic Development and International Cooperation, Dr. Rania Al-Mashat, asserted Egypt's appreciation to the depth of ties with the World Economic Forum, the WEF, as it is an international platform that gathers representatives of governments and private sectors, in addition to different parties to promote discussions on facing economic and developmental challenges and encouraging forming effective policies. This came during Al-Mashat's meeting on Saturday with the WEF President, Borge Brande, within the framework of his official visit to Egypt to discuss future fields of cooperation between Egypt and the WEF, in addition to building on the strategic partnership with the entity that was launched in 2020 in the several developmental and economic domains. The minister pointed out to strategic partnership with the WEF in the different domains, including empowering women, green transformation and future economic growth, as well as using different platforms of the forum since 2020. Both sides shared joint visions in the field of economic reform and the latest economic developments in Egypt, underscoring the importance given by the Egyptian government to widely include the private sector in the economy. Minister El Mashad reviewed the Egyptian national program for structural reform that included economic stability, resilience, boosting economic competitiveness and supporting green transformation.